Yeah, go ahead. Yep. This is Job chapter 28, verse 28. And unto man he said, Behold, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom. And to depart from evil is understanding. First and foremost, we want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Niggas double honors to the head apostles slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the ones that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akims. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith regardless of people here for a bit. Another quick lesson on fear, the fear of the Lord, which is the beginning of knowledge. And, and to depart from evil is understanding. You see, when you turn back to Yahweh by Shem Yahshua, when you repent, when the Spirit of the Lord, when the Lord put His Spirit on you to repent and turn back remorseful and you're feeling very sorrowful, you know what I'm saying? That, that's what you would call wisdom right there in the eyes of Yahweh by Shem Yahshua. And to depart from evil is understanding. So we're going to read that again, bro. This is Job chapter 28, verse 28. Got the brother to come with me. I'm the brother Hawaii. You know what I'm saying? Lord willing, this lesson will be edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. You can never go wrong with fearing the Lord. You, it's, it's all about going right. When you go right, fearing the Lord is you going right. You know what I'm saying? You can never go wrong. Read it, bro. This is Job chapter 28, verse 28. And unto man, he said. The Israelite man, woman, and child, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the Lord willing, y'all can hear us. Got people blowing leaves or whatever, Sunday, whatever, whatever. Lord wanted us to get a lesson in, so Lord wanted the elect and hear us. Go ahead. And unto man, he said, Behold, right. the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom. Look, look, look. The Lord's like, look, guess what, guess what I'm saying? Look, the fear, you fearing me is the beginning of wisdom. Go ahead. It says, and to depart from evil is understanding. And to depart from wickedness is understanding. When you stop celebrating Christmas, that's understanding. Um, Halloween, your birthday, uh, messing with the next man's woman, um, selling drugs, doing drugs, game banging, um, practicing witchcraft. When you turn from that and you completely stop it, when you stop eating pork, you know what I'm saying? And all these different abominable foods. When you turn from all that, that is considered wisdom in the eyes of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Baha Shem Go ahead. This is Psalm chapter 22, verse 23. Ye that fear the Lord, right. praise Him. Ye that fear the Lord, praise Him. And we praise the Heavenly Father in the name of His only begotten Son. That's why you're constantly hearing us saying, Yahweh Baha Shem Shai. Or you might hear us say, Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai. Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai. Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai. We're blessing the Heavenly Father or praising the Heavenly Father in the name of His only begotten Son. So ye that fear the Lord, praise Him. All ye, the seed of Jacob, glorify Him. All ye, the seed of Jacob, the Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latins, and Native Americans, that's who we are. We spoke to, we was, we was, um, get um, Ecclesiastes 12 and 12. Mm -hmm. We was put on the earth to fear the Lord, man, hands down. Okay, you ain't gonna be able to get around it either. You got it, yep. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 12. Right. You want verse 13? 13. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. Right. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. It's summing up everything. It's, it's summing up basically why we was put on the earth, why we was created in general, you Israelites. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. You want to know why you was born? You want to know why we were created? You want to know why we on the face of the earth? Go ahead, bro. Fear Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. It's to fear the Lord. We was created to fear the God of the Bible. Who they eagerly call God and Jesus Christ, Yahweh by Hashem Go ahead. And keep his commandments. And keep his commandments. Pursuing the Judges 5 and 11, we're supposed to rehearse the righteous acts to the best of our ability. You got to do something. Faith without works is dead. Go ahead. For this is the whole duty of man. And this is why we was created. It's to fear the Lord. So you got Israelites out there talking about some, uh, you doing another lesson on fearing the Lord? you damn right. You know, the fear of the Lord um, pretty much um, keeps you alive, really. That's right. You know? It says, um, those that fear the Lord um, shall not want anything. That's right. Just roughly paraphrasing. Finish that song off real quick. Yeah. This is songs. <clears throat> 
Psalms you, you, chapter, didn't never, you didn't never finish it? Just a little part. Go ahead. This is Psalms chapter 20, 22, verse 23 at the bottom. Right. All ye the seed of Israel. Right. All right, that's it on that. So, so for us Israelites, the Lord created us to fear him. Now, all nations on the face of the earth are going to fear the Lord eventually. But us Israelites, he created us, his favorite nation pretty much. You know what I'm saying? We're the greatest nation on the face of the earth and the law, states, commandments of the Bible are given to us. So we most definitely need to fear. What else you got, bro? This is Psalm chapter 25, verse 14. Yep. The secret of the Lord, Yahweh Shema Washai, is with them that fear him. Right. You want to know who got the secrets, who got the mysteries, who got the understanding, the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures? Those that fear him. You, you don't have it because you don't fear. You Israelites out there, y'all don't fear the God of the Bible, so of course y'all are not going to hear it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all are not going to get it. Y'all ain't going to hear these words. And he will show them his covenant. Right, the agreement. Get on, um, get some rock to mm -hmm. and 10. Mm -hmm. And then after that, get that wisdom of Solomon, I think it's what, 3 and 8? 3 and 8, gotcha. Yeah, um, he only um, loved those with wisdom. Mm -hmm. Ain't that it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is um, Sirach, chapter 2, verse 10. Also known as Ecclesiasticus and the Apocrypha. Look yeah. at the generations of old. Our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Noah, King Solomon, King David, all of them, man. Uh, Meshach, um, Shamrach, and Abednego, Daniel, and the lion's den. You know, all the ancient forefathers, it goes into that in, uh, in, the, in, um, in the Maccabees, it goes into that. And see, did ever any trust in the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Awashai, and was confounded? Right. Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Right. Did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? No. And the phone chimed in. No. The answer is no. A big fat N O. No. Go ahead. It says, or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Right. Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? Right. And we most definitely call it, we read earlier, um, those that fear the Lord praise him. So who did the Lord ever despise that called upon him? And once again, Lord willing, um, Israel can hear us. You got a guy across the street blowing or whatever, whatever. You know, you see him right there. Lord willing, Israel can hear us. Go ahead. You want that? Um, uh, read the next verse. Okay. It says, verse 11, For the Lord, Yahweh Shemal Shah, is full of compassion right. and mercy. And mercy. That's why we fear him, man. Because that's the only entity that's going to show us mercy. You see? Long suffering. Long suffering. And very pitiful. And very pitiful. And forgive of sins. And forgive of sins. And save of in the time of affliction. That's why we fear Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Because affliction is coming. Hey, we've been afflicted now. But the true persecution is coming. And if you don't fear the Lord, how can you even fathom in your feeble mind that you're going to be protected in that day, right? That's right. Fear now, man. That you may be saved later. That's right. Go ahead. That's it. I'm gonna join out of 15. Yeah. This is a rock chapter 2, verse 15. They that fear the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai, will not disobey his word. Those that fear Yahweh Bashim Shai, bro, let's walk over here close to the street. Mm -hmm. We'll either over here to the back back here. Yeah. Because he doing it, he doing he doing too much now. Well, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? He doing he doing too much, you know what I'm saying? He doing too much, ain't he? Mm -hmm. Man. Go ahead, bro. It says, Sirach chapter 2, verse 15. Right. They that fear the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai, will not disobey his word. Those that fear Yahweh Bashim Shai are going to rehearse the righteous acts to the best of their ability. They're not going to disobey the words of Yahweh Bashim Shai. Go ahead. And they that love him will keep his ways. Yeah, that love is keeping out the commandments. That's what love is. To the best, once, once again, rehearsing the righteous acts, it all shows that you fear the Lord. This is what this lesson is based upon. Fearing the Lord, man. Go ahead. Sirach chapter 2, verse 16. They that fear the Lord will seek that which is well pleasing unto him. Right, and the Lord said he's, he's very well pleased with those that fear him. You see? Oh, yeah, the scriptures say, um, work out their own salvation with fear and trembling. You got to work out your own salvation. Look, select so like your family members don't fear the Lord, that's on them. You got to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, all right? It says, which is well pleasing unto him. Right. And they that love him shall be filled with the law. Right. Sirach 2, um, 2, verse 17. That's your thing. Mm -hmm. Sirach 2, verse 17. 
they that fear the Lord will prepare their hearts. Right, you're gonna get your mind right. And humble their souls in his sight. Right, because the God of the Bible resists the pride. Where that um that um app at, bro? That app. The one that I got. That one? Yeah. That same one I got. Yeah, I think yours. Push a lot. Mine don't look like that. Mine might be different from your thing. I want to get one right quick. I got another one. Go ahead. This is the rock chapter. Is it ever going to, what, what happened to it, bro? Yeah, like that's it right there? Mm-hmm. That's the one that I just tapped on? What's the, what's the name? Like this right here. Let's see. This, so this is the apocrypha right here that you got? Yep, and the own regular Bible too. Yeah, yours ain't showing like mine do. When I type in like fear scriptures, no, nah, you need to get the other one that I got. Yeah, I can't really, get, I can't really rock with that. Okay. You need to get this one right here. Oh, I ain't gonna show it right now, but I'll show you when we finish. Okay. Which one you need to get, it's, it's easier. Okay. Go ahead. This is Sirach chapter two, so like you. Sirach chapter one, verse 14. Right. To fear the Lord is the is the beginning of wisdom. To fear the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Is that um that wisdom of Solomon three and eight? Was that one? Uh, was that the one I was looking for? The no, Lord loveth none but those that fear Him. I think it's three and eight. It might not be though. It might be, but it might not be. It ain't, is it? No. I'll look it up real quick. I mean, if you can't find it, just I'll finish reading the one you got. Okay. Yeah, read that one you had again. Mm -hmm. This is Sirach chapter 1, verse 14. Right. To fear the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. To fear the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. You, you're going to be able to get around that, Israel. Fear. Fear before anything. The scripture, the scripture say, fear not me. The scripture say, I, 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 will, I will forewarn you whom you need to fear. Fear him. Fear him that have, after he have killed, have power to cast thy soul into hell, which is a condition played out on earth. The Lord can take that spirit. He can destroy that body, send the spirit right back up to the heavens. And the bird chimed in, send that, send that spirit right up to the heavens, then send that spirit right back down in a body that's paraplegic. Once again, um, a, a missile potato head, you know what I mean? That's right. Make you a paraplegic to where you can't walk, talk, or see. Just have you there just thinking, you know what I'm saying, bro? Right. Knowing why you came back that way, you know? You found it. Yep. This is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 7, verse 28. That's what it was. For Yahweh by Shema was shy, loving none but him that dwelleth with wisdom. Right. We proved what wisdom was. Wisdom is the fear of the Lord. That's the beginning of wisdom. It says the, lo the Lord loveth none. So he don't love everybody. Tell us what he loves everybody. All the little children of the world. Well, the scriptures ain't say that. It says the most high loveth none but those that dwell with wisdom. Do you have wisdom? It starts off with fear. That's right. If you don't have the fear of the Lord, then stop saying you got wisdom and stop saying you blessed and highly favored. Every time you turn around, you ask Jake, um, how, how your day going? Blessed and highly favored. But then they got a pork chop sandwich or they got a Christmas hat on or they just celebrated Halloween. You're not blessed and highly favored. If you're not um, keeping the commandments and fearing the Lord, keeping the commandments to the best of your ability and fearing the Lord most definitely. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Back in Sirach. Check they the look real silly too, saying it too, right, bro? Mm-hmm. Read Wisdom of Solomon one more time. Okay. This is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 7, verse 28. Right. For the Most High, Yahweh Bashim Awashai, loveth none but him that dwelleth with wisdom. Right. The Lord loveth none but them that dwelleth with wisdom. So two thirds of the Lord don't love you, all right? You so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man. It's contrary to the words of the Bible. The Lord don't love you, man. You, you think he do. He'll, he'll love to kill you if you don't turn back and repent. That's it on that, right? Mm -hmm. What else you got? Finish that on Sirach 14 off. Yeah. This is Sirach chapter 1, verse 14. To fear the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Right. And it was created with the faithful in the womb. Right. So, hey, look, it was created with the faithful. The elect in the womb is to fear. Two-thirds really ain't never feared the Lord. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying, bro? But you, but you will, though. You will, though. You will. When that destruction come... And all hell, Jacob's trouble, you no know saying break loose, you're gonna fear the Lord in that day, man. Cause who's bringing the evil? Um, get um wizard, get um Amos, Amos three and six right quick. Yep. This is Amos. Get, get Amos um three and six and then get um first Samuel. 
two and six, and then get um Sorak eleven and fourteen, and we'll end it. God, this is Amos chapter three verse six. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city? Right. And the people be not afraid. Right. Which is the, what is the trumpet? The sound of, of an alarm. Meaning we bring in our scriptures. Go ahead. Shall there be evil in a city? And the Lord have not done it. Shall there be evil, meaning bad times in a city, and the Lord have not done it? Everything that you see going on on the face of the earth is being controlled by the God of the Bible, who you ignorantly call God and Jesus Christ. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh shot. Go ahead. Time. This is First Samuel. Chapter two, verse six. Yep. Chapter two, verse six. Yep. It says, "The Lord Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh shot, killeth." The Lord killeth. Another reason why we should fear. Go ahead. And make of alive. And he keeps you alive. Another reason why we should fear. Go ahead. He bring up down to the grave. The Lord can bring you down low. Go ahead. And bring up up. And he can lift you up, man. That's why we're in the condition that we're in now. Being brought low. Because we didn't fear. But now, you know what I'm saying, starting off with the whole full leg, he bringing us back up through the spirit, man, with this knowledge. It all starts off with this knowledge. The, the Lord Yahweh by Shemal Shah make of poor right. and make of rich. Right. And then look, two more reasons why we should fear. The Lord he can either make you poor, a.k.a. a bum, on a park bench somewhere downtown, you know what I'm saying, or wherever, digging out the trash can looking crazy, right? Mm -hmm. Or he can, he can put money in your pocket and have it to where you can pay your bills. That's it. He make it poor and make it rich. Right. He bring a low and lift it up. Right. That's it. And then you can get um, Ciroc. Mm-hmm. And then we we ended off on um, Deuteronomy 32 and 39. Get Sirach 11 and 14. God. This is Sirach chapter 11, verse 14. Right. Prosperity. You got enough light. Mm hmm Prosperity and adversity. Right. Life and death. Prosperity and adversity. Look, look. Life and death. Look, look. Four more reasons why we should fear. On, on, on everything that we done read so far, four more reasons. Giving you more reasons. More reasons, that's, that's what we're gonna call this, bro. Part three, more reasons why we should fear the Lord. Okay. More reasons why we should fear the Lord, the God of the Bible. Yahweh, and who they eagerly call God and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, who they eagerly call Jesus. Go ahead. So, Rock chapter 11, verse 14, prosperity and adversity. Right. Life and death. Right, look, two more reasons life and death, poverty and riches. Poverty and riches. Come of Yahweh by Shema Washai. Come of the Lord. So, so look, more reasons why we should fear the God of the Bible. That's it on that. Mm -hmm. So let's get Deuteronomy 28. I mean, Deuteronomy 32. And 39. Yeah, we'll end it. All right, well, the Lord's going to give our people a real reason why they should have been fearing him when he bring hell, which is, which is destruction, to the earth, man. You see, mainly to America, a.k.a. Babylon, the land of confusion, right? Go ahead, bro. This Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 39. Right. See now that I, even I, am he. Right. And there is no power with me. Right. Ain't no other entity doing nothing, man. Buddha ain't doing nothing. Allah ain't doing nothing. Santa Maria ain't doing nothing. Ain't none of them doing nothing. The Kemet God damn sure ain't doing nothing. You know what I'm saying? Horus, Seth, and all the other new, 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 and all that, man. They ain't doing nothing, man. Just sitting there collecting um, bird doo-doo. And collecting dust, you know what I'm saying, bro? Mm -hmm. The Lord said, "There's no other God with me, right?" Mm -hmm. Go ahead. I kill. The Lord, look, another reason, more reason why we should fear. I kill. Sleazy Edo never had no um, um, curse up on their ones, right? Right. You know what I'm saying? They get in their kingdom right about now. Everybody's gonna fear soon, come huh? But it always starts off with the elect of the nation of Israel. The Lord always, the Lord always put His spirit on them to fear anyway. Go ahead. And I make alive. Well, look, the Lord said he kills and he makes alive. Go ahead. I wound and I heal. Right. The Lord said he wounds and heals. So if you walking down the street and you slip on a banana peel, always use that one. You slip on a banana peel, you know what I'm saying? Or either um, you walking down the street and you, you, your ass, you know what I'm saying, sprain your leg and fall into the street, you know what I'm saying, get hit by a truck or something. Mm -hmm. That's the Lord, man. You get shot, you know what I'm saying, like Tupac, like nine times, and you make it out alive. That's the Lord did that. He says, I wound and I heal. Go ahead. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. And that's what I say if the Lord, that's if the Bible. So what you're going to, you, after hearing all that, you ain't going to fear? That's right. After hearing all that, Israel, if you don't fear after that, then something most definitely wrong with you. And that's, what I, that's what I might call it. If you don't fear after hearing this, something wrong with you, mm -hmm. then that's too long. That's 
it can work. If you don't fit, it'll work. The brother said we can make it work then, you know what I'm saying? So it's going to work, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we just want to do something through the spirit, man, quick, fast, in a hurry, you know what I'm saying? Brother got to get ready to go to work, and I got to get back to doing what I was doing. I'm just fearing the Lord, man. You can never go wrong fearing the Lord, you know? That was the end of that, bro? Mm -hmm. Hey, look, neither is, there they can end, neither is there any that can deliver out of the hands or the clutches of the God of the Bible, man. Look, we must fear. That's the beginning of wisdom. And the Lord loveth none but those that have wisdom. We're saying that we want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Next double honors to the head apostles, slash elder bishops of great millstone, the ones that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith for God so people here for a bit. DTA, a ball, a ball. A ball, a ball. Shalawan. Shalawan. Soon. Soon. And very soon. And very soon. Shalawan. Shalawan.